friends. Today, I have a challenge. Mint Fairy suggested that I do a blindfolded Lolita coordinate. <sighs> I thought this would be a lot of fun. I figured because my stuff's kind of all similar, it might turn out nice. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. There's also a few things that I only coordinate certain ways and like colors that only go together, so there's also the potential for it to be insane. If I just laid out my stuff and then blindfolded myself, I would still kind of know where everything was. So instead, I decided to have Holly help me. Holly's going to choose each of my pieces and then I'm gonna be blindfolded and then she's gonna lay out the pieces around me and I'm just gonna randomly point at one and she's gonna take it aside to put together this blindfolded <laughs> coordinate. I'm super nervous. Once each piece for the coordinate has been picked out, we'll put them all together and then I'll try to somehow put makeup on and style it so that it all goes together, hopefully. Help, help. I'm going to Montreal and got invited to my first Lolita meetup, but all I have is this tacky maid costume. What can I do? You should head over to Au Boudoir de Alice, a Lolita dedicated shop opening in early August in Montreal, Quebec. They will have an online shop sometime in the future. You can stay up to date with them and keep track by following their Facebook, which will be linked below. Thank you so much. I got the dress of my dreams because of your help, and now I can confidently go to my meetup. Well, that was easy. Thanks, Obudor Dallas, for sponsoring this video. dress and I know that this dress I usually only coordinate it two ways so <laughs> it's probably not the two ways that I coordinate it. Yeah, a little bit, really not. A little nervous. When I was picking the things you were like okay like you weren't like oh, okay like you yeah. sounded like you're comfortable like oh all right yeah. yeah so that's why it made me feel like it's probably not that bad because mm. you were like mm. oh mm. okay yeah, I was trying not to give anything away, so... Oh... Um. To open your eyes now. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I got... <laughs> all my blouses, all of my blouses are pink and white and cream, and I have one red blouse, and I was like, the likelihood of me picking the red blouse is so unlikely, I have such a good chance of getting 
wearing a pink or white blouse. I picked the red blouse with my rainbow pastel wig. When you picked it, I was like, I must contain myself. That's the one thing I was like, I don't want to pick the red blouse because there's so few things that I wear. And this dress I wear is so few things. I feel like this hair would be nice with this dress. Mm. Like I could figure out a way to make it work. I wouldn't naturally do that. And then my yellow body. <laughs> make it work. Make it work. Make it work. So normally what I would do for coordinating this dress is I would either pick with staying in pastels or I would choose one color to sort of emphasize and coordinate around. With red, I have coordinated this outfit sort of more neutral and had everything be like beiges and creams and then I'd add little flares of red. Red lipstick, red cheek, red headpiece and that would kind of even it out. <laughs> or I would choose some pastel colors like pastel blue, pastel pink to kind of emphasize the little pieces in the print that are those colors. But this is sort of a blend of those two things together. I'm gonna play it safe and do more of like a warm neutral look with the red lip and see how that goes and not do pastel makeup because I feel that the hair is gonna be so colorful that maybe it'll be complemented by this neutral look. Let's try this. never work. Yeah, no. The bonnet just doesn't work. The wig could work if the rest of the stuff was cream or pastel. I don't know why I would ever wear two like of the same kind of style necklace. They're both like too big. Shirt. Hear me out. Like with my black hair, it, it's kind of nice. What did we learn from this? Even though that I think that this coordinate as a whole was kind of a fail, I don't think that this challenge was a fail at all because I learned some different ways to coordinate this dress. Like, I actually kind of like this look. And I encourage you to try and mix around your wardrobe and try new things that you wouldn't have thought before. It's all about trial and error, and don't be afraid to make a coordinate and look at it and say, this looks bad. Instead, learn from it and see what you can fix about it and how you can wear it different later. Continue to experiment with clothes, try new looks, and stay lovely. Was that thunder? Even the skies and the heavens are mad at my coordinate. <laughs> the weather is, I've angered the weather. It was a fun experiment. I never would have put these pieces together on my own and I never will again. <laughs>